Dynasync Pedal Instruction Manual. Adjusting the pedal. Beater angle adjustment. The beater angle can be adjusted simultaneously with the footboard angle. To adjust the beater angle, first loosen the square head bolt on the side of the camshaft. Next, adjust the angle of the beater and tighten the square head bolt at the desired angle. Fine tune the angle using the angled memory cap marking on the camshaft as a guide. The factory position is set so that the marking on the camshaft matches the center position on the memory cap. For double pedals, adjust the left side beater angle in the same way as the right side. The Dynasync pedal adjusts the beater angle and camshaft simultaneously to optimize the balance of the distinctive pedal feel. If the angle adjustment is made using only the beater holder, the original performance of the pedal may be restricted. Therefore, do not adjust the beater angle by loosening the hex bolt. In case the beater angle is adjusted using the beater holder. If the settings are changed on the beater holder, reset it to factory position by the following procedure then readjust it again. First, loosen the square head bolt on the camshaft and adjust it so that the marking on the camshaft matches the center position of the memory cap. Next, adjust the left side camshaft in the same way. After firmly fixing both sides of the cam, loosen the hex bolt on the beater holder and adjust the left side beater so that the angle is aligned with the right side beater. Factory settings can be restored this way, and if necessary, adjust the beater angle again. Footboard Angle Adjustment For the Dynasync pedal, adjusting the beater angle also changes the footboard angle. However, the footboard angle can be adjusted independently. After adjusting the beater angle, you can also adjust the footboard to your desired angle. To adjust the angle of the footboard, loosen the square head bolt at the top of the footboard and adjust the angle using the markings as a guide. The factory position is set to the center marking. The footboard angle is lowered as you adjust the marking towards the top of the footboard, and the angle becomes steeper as you adjust the markings toward the bottom of the footboard. Once the desired angle is achieved, tighten the square head bolt. Slidable Cam Adjustment the Dynasync pedal has a slidable cam that allows you to adjust the feel of the pedal by moving the upper cam section back and forth. To adjust the slidable cam, loosen the square head bolt on the cam and slide the upper piece back and forth. Now, let's see how adjusting the cam changes the pedal feel. This graph shows the angle when the footboard is pushed down and the change in the required force. When the slidable cam is extended to increase the radius of the cam's rotation, the angle and force of the footboard change is slowed. In this setting, a higher level of control is achieved. When the slidable cam is shortened, the change is much more drastic, providing a quicker action. When the cam is set to the middle position, you can achieve both a high level of control with faster action. Try to find the best position for your playing style. Once set to the desired position, tighten the square head bolt firmly in place. Caution: When the resonant side of the bass drum is too high off the ground and the cam is in the longest position, the front end of the cam may touch the batter side head. If this is the case, shorten the bass drum legs until the cam no longer touches the batter side head. Spring Tension Adjustment First, 
Turn the lock nut counterclockwise to loosen it. Then, turn the lower adjustment nut while pressing down on the lock nut to adjust the tension. Once set to the desired tension, tighten the lock nut securely. Failure to tighten the lock nut may cause it to rattle during use. Turning the adjustment nut clockwise loosens the spring tension and reduces the force required to operate the pedal. Turning it in the opposite direction tightens the spring tension, which increases the force required to operate the pedal, but returns the footboard faster. Sink Coil Adjustment The sink coil is a unique mechanism that assists the return of the footboard and enables a smoother and lighter action. You can adjust the strength of the return by moving the coil back and forth. In order to adjust the sink coil, loosen the square head bolt on the underside of the footplate and move the coil back and forth. Move the coil towards H to increase the strength of the spring or towards S to lighten the strength of the spring. It is also possible to remove the sink coil. You can adjust the sink coil as desired to achieve your preferred footboard action.